Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I have a super unique pen to show you. It comes from Wancha. Wancha is a Japanese pen brand. They make amazing pens. It's one of these brands I wish I had reviewed a whole lot more of. And I'm really glad to have this one and another one to show you over this little next little while. In the past, I have reviewed this pen. This is the uh, True Rushi Dream Pen from Wancha. And this to me, like, is the symbol of Wancha. But they've been doing some interesting things, and this is one of them. They have recently created a sub-brand called One by One by One, which I'll put down uh, the, that title written out because it's a little bit confusing. Um, and this is one of the, the first pen to come from that. So this is the package it comes in, simple plastic box. You open it up, you get some little information, and then you get the pen. Yes, that is the pen. This is the most adorable little fountain pen. You also get a little uh, eyedropper there and underneath the foam is some instructions on how to fill it and all of that kind of stuff. This uh, is the Pachico Black Chocolate Orange version. And it's one of the first ones that came out. There are multiple versions available. They're releasing more and they'll sort of circle through different color combinations. I think this combination is a classic fountain pen color combination, but in this tiny little body, I think it's just remarkable. I'm gonna talk about the parts and features. I'll do a running sample size comparisons and then uh, talk about some pros and cons okay so top of the pen you get the wancha logo there in a little metal gold colored disc and tap the lights there we go it's a bit better um then a little gold clip band here and the cap continues along uh tapering ever so slightly down to this point and then you get the barrel which is one piece of this sort of like marbled acrylic or cracked acrylic uh and uh it's just got a simple polished end dome there it is a screw cap and it comes off in one turn and reveals some lovely smooth threads a little section there and then a small gold colored steel nib with the wancha logo on it once again this pen uh the, this nib sorry is roughly the size of a number four it's comparable say to you know the uh the standard nibs on a kaveco sport that kind of size and i have to say it writes absolutely flawlessly. This pen is super unique. As you can see, it does post, but it posts very small. It's actually designed to fit in this part of your hand. This is not the kind of pen you use for long writing sessions. This is the kind of pen that, uh, well, you know, you might jot a couple of things on a list or whatever the case may be. It's a, it's a short note-taking pen, not for long journaling sessions. I would imagine, although for some people that would be perfectly fine. And the way this pen writes, you actually might want to use it for long journaling sessions. It's beautiful. Um, the pen is eyedropper only, and I've got it filled there with uh, purple ink. So um, uh, normally you'd just be this kind of more vibrant orange. I'm talking dark orange because of the ink, uh, but it's got a, when you unscrew this section, which I'm doing very carefully because it is filled with ink, um, there's a couple of O-rings. You can just see the first one here, and there's one further down, which lock off this section around the threads absolutely perfectly. And because it's all one piece of acrylic, it's all watertight, and it's beautiful. And it is surprisingly comfortable and surprisingly fun to use. It's not going to be for everyone. Straight up, not going to be for everyone. But for me, I really enjoy it. And the purpose of a pen like this is, yes, there's a little bit of novelty factor, let's be real. But also, like... It's a, this isn't even called a pocket pen. This is called a mini sized fountain pen. It's transportable. It's got a decent ink capacity. So it's going to write for a while. It's just the kind of pen that you can always have with you. And uh, if you carry it in the right case, it's a really interesting little option. So I'm going to do a size comparison and this is going to seem like ridiculous in so many ways. Um, I'm going to show it alongside the Lamy Safari, but I'm going to put it alongside two other Kavecos. Now the first one is the Sport because that is, you know, it's like the most popular or best known pocket pen. And then I'm going to put it alongside the Lilliput. Now the Lilliput, alongside any other pen, is absolutely tiny. Alongside this pen, it's ginormous. It just shows what a absolutely pint-sized, petite, miniature fountain pen this actually is. Uncapped, that is just 
so tiny. It's like smaller than a pinky finger. Like it is absolutely tiny. And then posted at its full length, it is two thirds the length of the Kaveco Lilliput. This is the engineering actually that has gone into creating all these elements is actually kind of amazing. They've done a great job creating a perfectly functional, absolutely tiny fountain pen. It's probably the biggest nib you could put on it. It's got the, the biggest feed it could possibly have on it. They've given it the biggest ink capacity it could potentially have. And they've made something that, while very small in your hand, still is able to be written with. And you can see with the nib size comparison, it compares you know, favorably to these nibs. And if I just sort of hold it here alongside, you know, the um, number six size nib from the Want a Dream pen, uh, you see it is a much smaller nib, obviously. So what are the dimensions of the Wancha or one by one by one? Puchico, capped, it's 65 millimeters. Uncapped, it's 59. Now, you may actually be able to, if you were just ticking something off a to-do list, this would be perfectly fine. You could easily use it just to tick, 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 you know, and that's fine. Posted, it is 88 millimeters. So as you see, it fits there in the back of the hand. Um, that's where it's designed to sit. It's not designed to sit on the webbing of your hand. It's designed to sit there, and you can absolutely write with this. I'll show the writing sample. It's actually pretty comfortable. The diameter of the pen, the section here is nine millimeters, and then the body of the pen here is about 11, and the widest point at the top of the cap is 13. Um, so depending on where you hold it, and I tend to hold it sort of back on the threads, which are smooth and you don't feel them at all, and you know, it's quite fine and comfortable. I'm getting between that nine and 11 millimeters, so you're not having to pinch down too hard either. The pen weighs 10 grams, six in the body, four in the cap. But you've got no worry about balance because all the weight is in your fingertips here. It's it's it it works well in that way. Okay, time for a writing sample now with the Wancha Puchico. Um, as I said, this is one by one by one. Is that that's the the sub brand? Uh, we have a steel fine nib and I, it's around a number four i think from memory or from my assumption the ink in this is diamine uh bilberry so you can see in here it writes quite well Um, it actually writes, I wouldn't say it's a wet writer, but it puts down a nice enough amount of ink to the point where on this Clairefontaine 90 GSM paper, I'm actually getting a little bit of sheen uh, off this ink, which uh, is nice. It's not a flex nib, reverse writing, possible. So I think for kind of everyday note-taking, short note-taking sessions, like jotting things down on a list, this does a remarkable job. It writes well, smooth, quite wet. It does all the things you'd want it to do, and in this tiny, tiny package. So what are the pros and cons? Well, I have one con, two kind of, depending on what you think, <laughs> pros or cons, and then two things I quite like about it. Okay, so... The con, I think the way the pen posts isn't sec that secure. And given the fact that like being able to do more than tick something off a list requires this pen to post, it kind of, you can feel it sort of coming loose on there. Um, so it's not the most secure posting, but I think when it's nestled into your hand there, you should be okay. Now the two pro cons, firstly, the size, obviously this isn't for everybody. Obviously, this isn't, you know, for big, long journal writing sessions and things like that. This is a pen that is really designed, A, for a bit of novelty factor, but B, also for quick jotting down of things. 
keeping it in your handbag, keeping it in your, perhaps in your pocket or in a, you know, small pen case or something, you know, that's the kind of purpose of this pen. And I think at that kind of scale, it's kind of great. Now the price, this retails for 25 US dollars or 40 Australian dollars. Look, I really like Wancha. I haven't have reviewed this pen, the uh, Dream Pen, which I absolutely love. I think it's one of the nicest pens in my collection. And I have this, the Sakai World Tree Sandalwood, which I'm getting to know uh, now for a, a future review and think it's absolutely beautiful. It's well made and I love that wood on it. And this Pachico, it's in their budget line and it's at a budget price for the pen, for Wancha. It's like a tenth the price of the Dream Pen. And it's obviously a much smaller pen. It's not gonna be for everyone. But at that price point, you're getting something that's interesting. And the way it's packaged and all of that, you know, like it makes an interesting little gift. And at that price point, you can. What do I like about the pen? Well, I like the nib. It's a nice smooth nib. It writes well, it writes consistently, it writes fairly wet. It sort of does all those things that you'd want it to do. It's it every time I've written with it, it's been there, it's just done it. And I also like the ink capacity um, because it is a fine nib and quite a fine nib. Um, I've had this ink for a while, been using it, and I I think I really barely made a made a dent on the ink. I think it it has a lot going for it. This pen is it's it's aside from anything, the novelty factor. It's just adorable. It is just adorable, and it's a classic fountain pen color. And some of the new colors is a, a lovely light blue and white sort of finish. They're classic combinations for fountain pens and sort of, as I said, it's like a, a standard fountain pen in miniature, but it writes and it writes really well. So I'm really, really happy about this. I've really enjoyed this pen. I'm going to continue to enjoy this pen. A big thank you to Wancha for sending this out for review. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notifications button. If you've got products you think I should be looking at or if there's a way you would like to support the channel, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, however big or however small they are. And I'll talk to you soon.